Hi everyone and thank you for watching this video. So what are the three most common myths and misconceptions that I have heard from patients over the years about chemical peels? So the first and most common one, whenever I tell a patient that they need a chemical peel or they can benefit from it, the first thing a patient will say is like, no, 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 doctor, I don't need any chemicals on my face and I don't want my face to peel off. So I, my God, I mean, this is probably on us only that term chemical peel is a misnomer actually. See, the reason why it's called chemical is because of the chemical composition of what we're using. So for a simple example, acetic acid is what? It's vinegar, but it's called acetic acid and the chemical composition is CH3COOH, just like baking soda is NaHCO3. But what are chemical peels made up of? We have used glycolic acid, that's from sugarcane. We use lactic acid, that's from sour milk. We use kojic acid, we get that from a kind of fungi or mushroom. We use uh, arbutin, arbutin we get for bearberries. We use salicylic acid, that's from a tree, it's from a willow bark extract. We use mandelic acid, it's from almonds. We use ferulic acid, uh, that I believe we get from maize bran. So this can you know, legitimately be called as herbal peels. So don't be put off by the word chemical peel. The second thing uh, that happens is when people start seeing the actual peeling. So that's when we start getting this panic emails and ah, doctor, my skin is peeling and what have you done? You have damaged my skin. See, this usually happens on the second or third day of the peel and we know that the same patient will be very happy by the seventh day. So what you're seeing is part of the process. This is a superficial exfoliation of the skin. It starts on the second or the third day and it can go up to, you know, five days to even 14 days depending on the depth of the peel that we have done. And what's seen at the end of the process is skin that's much more cleaner, refreshed, brighter and it's free from acne or pigmentation or whatever it is that we were trying to heal. Uh, unless there is scabbing or very deep, intense or prolonged redness, there's really nothing to be worried about. The third and the opposite thing that we see is people who panic because they didn't see visible peeling. Then we get these uh, messages that, Doctor, I didn't have any peeling. Where is the peeling? I wanted to see the peeling. I love to see the peeling. I was told that if there's no peeling, the peel didn't work. See, that's also not true. I mean, uh, visible peeling oftentimes happen only with medium or deep peels. Uh, it can happen usually there also with the first or second peel. After that, you have done good a deal of exfoliation and you may not see no peeling after that. With superficial peels, you know, you may just see a little dryness or tightness of your skin and you may not see visible peeling. But rest assured, you will still get the benefit of the peel. So the choice of the peel, please leave it to the dermatologist. They are the experts. Do not pressurize your dermatologist that I have been told that only if a skin will actually peel, then it will work for me. So do those kind of peels for me. So peeling, it's a simple in-office procedure. So it almost feels like you're getting some kind of a facial done. But obviously, this is not a facial. It's a proper medical treatment. Your skin needs to be properly primed. Your skin doctor, dermatologist will put you on preparatory creams, usually for about one or one and a half months before we start the process. Uh, it's a simple process. It takes about half an hour. There's no needle or cut or anesthesia or pain or downtime. There's no going under the knife, so to speak. Uh, but having said that, your doctor will probably ask you to stop some of the medicated creams you're using for two or three days before or after a peel. You shouldn't be out in the sun for two or three days uh, after you've had a chemical peel. And please do not attempt this at home. Do not buy stuff from uh, the internet and try doing this at home because even under experienced hands with all the care, things can still go wrong.